in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to be able to beat zone coverage in Madden 21, specifically focusing in on the trips tight end offense. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about helping people become better at Madden 21. My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, again, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly be. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it simply allows you to be able to stay up to date with everything happening here on the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be sharing with you a formula for how to beat any zone coverage, especially zone drops or Mabel coverage, which I think a lot of people are struggling to specifically beat um, a defense out of the Mike Blitz 3. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my audibles here and I'm gonna be audibling in and out of that defense. But we're gonna share with you specifically how to beat Mike Blitz 3 in Madden 21. And one thing that I wanna tell you just really quickly right off the bat is if you are looking to get this trips tight end, I actually have a full trips tight end offensive guide in the description. I just released it for just $10 and uh, you can get that. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. Now I'm gonna be sharing with you this play out of the trips tight end offset, but it's actually very, very um, familiar. It's, it's the same concept um, from the trips tight end regular, okay? It's literally the exact same uh, concept and what we're going to be sharing with you in today's video is we are actually going to be sharing with you the play levels sale okay that's that's the play that we're going to be focusing on in this video um, in in the trips tied in reg like the Patriots trips tied in which I wrote the ebook on it would be called doubles in cell with a corner on the left side but we're not going to use that we're just going to focus in on a couple of things here so anyways we're going to use the play level sale and defensively, what we're going to do from the Mike Blitz 3 perspective is we're going to kind of set it up just like anyone would uh, with those curl flat zones and those with that lurk over the middle of the field, kind of anticipating this as a user and um, kind of a max coverage Mabel type of defense. Now, the, really the biggest key to beating this coverage is to leverage the power of this tight end route from the trips tight end in combination with a couple of other things that we're going to do. So on the left side, what we're going to do is we are going to simply place the square receiver on a smoke screen. We're going to place, and then we're going to place two hitches to the triangle receiver and the circle receiver. You see that this is the route combination that we are going to be using. And the first and foremost thing is that the X receiver is actually going to do a decent job at getting open against the Mabel coverage on that side, as you can see right there. And I'll show it to you one more time. But this this X receiver to the tight end, as long as they're um, as long as they're playing like a 25 yard Mabel type of defense, where the the flats are set to 25 yards, you're going to see that you're going to typically have a lot of opportunity to either hit the tight end or you can hit the running back quick. And I'll show you how to hit the running back really quickly here um, in just a second. But basically what this is, is again, this is just leveraging the spacing of the trips tight end. That's why you can apply this to both the trips tight end as well as the trips tight end offset formation. Now, as far as the trips tight end offset, you see here that I can hit this running back route really, really, really quickly because those flats are already naturally flowing to the outside of the field. That is a huge, huge thing. And if you can get good at throwing that route, you're going to have a lot of success with this off with this offense. It's probably one of the most important routes for you to be able to master as a passer in this game. So literally all you're going to do is as soon as the ball is snapped and you see the zone drops go, you're just going to dump it to the back quick. And you see there that he was able to get about five to ten yards, um, depending on if you can you know kind of get that out there quick enough. So that's one option that you have. Another option that you have, though, and really the favorite of this offense is to work these hitches. One of these two hitches or this flat route will be open. So one of those three routes will be open. As you saw right there, we just took a smoke screen route for about 10 to 15 yards. And this is the spacing that the trips tight end formation allows you to be able to have. Now, um, what I wanna do is share with you a little bit of a different zone that you're going to face. And that is going to be something like a, a, a curl flat, right? Um, now, if you were to put that square receiver on an out route as opposed to a smoke screen then the flat routes would pull as you can see right here they pull and then i can just check down to whichever hitch i want to hit 
Typically, the first hitch is going to be the one that is most open. I'm going to share with you a couple of other things that they can do as far as adjustments goes. So another thing that you might see is instead of a three rec hook, they might use a vertical hook. As you can see right here, I'm using a vertical hook. Now, typically, their user is going to go um, guard either the running back first or the tight end. So if they do something like this, as you can see right here, again, we're just going to check down to whichever receiver is open. As you can see right there, it's a smoke screen. And again, that smoke screen just went for about 15 uh, or about 10 to 15 yards just with a simple smoke screen. So that's really the beauty of this of this offense. Now, right here, I want to show you this is the vertical hook. And this is them using like a curl flat zone or something like that that's going to kind of shift outside a little bit more. And as you're going to see, once again, we're just taking our hitch and we're off to the races for about 15 to 20 yards. So that little spacing concept is really, really, really powerful, especially against the zone coverage, especially if they are using something like a maple or a zone drop type of coverage. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. Now, if you wanna learn the, the full Trips Tight End Offensive Guide where we talk about crossing routes and motion posts and slants and different types of um, bumpable routes, ways that you can completely glitch out man coverage or completely glitch out this coverage in general, you can learn all of that in my Trips Tight End Offensive Guide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to be able to grab that Trips Tight End Offensive Guide. And if you use the link in the description, it's just going to be about 10 bucks for you to be able to get that offense. So I want to thank you for watching this video. And I want to let you know if you have any questions, you can always text me. My cell phone number is 208-218. 6900. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get that Trips Tight End Offensive Guide, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video.